You're an undercover porn star. If you wanted me, you would have had me. <laughs> if I wanted like a bad B on the game, I'm going to do that. Hey, let's go back to the time we and niggas used to trip. By the time we spent growing, we were just friends. It was all friendly on my end. Even though I look forward to seeing you again. Hey guys, it's me, P, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering some assumptions you guys have about me. A while back on my Instagram story, I asked you guys to send in all your juicy assumptions that you have about me. And I can't lie, I only saw a couple of them. And I said, you guys are crazy. Like, some of you guys are actually so funny. So yeah, we're going to be answering that together today. If you missed out on the assumptions, don't worry. If this video does good, let's say about 200 likes, I will come out with a part two. But today we're doing a part one so remember to smash the like button and i'll come up with a part two leave in the comments any other video suggestions you want from me so i can push out more content for you guys because you know i love you guys Aww. briefly before we get into this video though some may know that i have two ebooks out already so if you really want to take imv content creation seriously just like how i do it then you should definitely have a look at the ebooks that i've created by myself i put in a lot of hours and it's all my own original ideas in these ebooks so in the first ebook if you want to learn how I get my scalers the way I do, if you want to know how I edit my pictures, how I edit my videos, how I grow my TikTok, my YouTube, my everything, it's all in my first ever ebook that I made. And also, if you want to start actually putting out content now on your TikTok, on your YouTube, on your Instagram, I've made a content idea. So if you're stuck and you don't know your niche, then you should definitely check out the ebooks that's set out for you guys so you can just jump straight in and be a content creator like me. Like, guys, I promise you, it's so much fun. So definitely check it out. The link will be in the description under this video. So yeah, let's get into the first assumption. All right, so the first assumption is you're a Capricorn. Actually, no, I'm not a Capricorn. What month is a Capricorn again? I'm a Scorpio, guys. Big Scorpio, not the little one. Scorpio doing the best, yeah. The best sign out there, period. I don't want to hear nothing. We're a little toxic, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. You have a boyfriend. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Guys, get out of my business, first of all. Second of all, I don't have a boyfriend, but I am i'm talking to somebody so yeah do what you want to do with that information if you wanted me you would have had me <laughs> by the way guys excuse my voice i'm low-key sick so bear with me please you're an undercover porn star excuse you how did you know that joking joking it's a joke it's a joke, it's a joke. no i'm not an undercover porn star what the hell what the hell where did you even get that porn star Wow. Porn stuff for the right one though. Your dark skin in real life. Yeah, guys, I actually am dark skin in real life. Before I used to role play as a light skin Avi, somebody, I think it was even my ex at the time, he was just like, wait, you're light skin in her game, but in real life, you're dark skin. That's real weird, bro. So I was just like, oh, I didn't think the the virtual game was actually that deep. Back then, guys, I promise you the dark skin Avis were not cute back then. A couple years ago, ugh. Like, brother, brother ugh. You see mean as fucking real life. Oh my gosh. Do I I give off that mean vibe i'm not even mean i feel like i'm actually one of the nicest people you ever meet in your life sometimes the meanness has to come out do you get it if i feel disrespected or you're disrespecting my people but other than that i'm not mean i'm actually one of the nicest people in real life like i'm actually gonna <laughs> you rather play imv than second life um the thing is i don't really have a good laptop to play second life so if i did i think i'd probably be more on second life and the way my one friend be talking about second life so heavy it's making me want to just go and buy a new laptop and be like you know what i'm gonna see you v people later because v is such a weird place sometimes you're really fashionable in real life i'm actually not guys my favorite color to wear in real life is black i have the same black jumpsuit the same black leggings the same black tops i'm trying to get into more color but the best i could do right now is gray or brown sometimes blue but other than that no fashion what's that you're rich if you're talking about in real life or in the game both no <laughs> yeah i wish i was just because you see me have like nice things on the game guys doesn't mean i'm rich in real life like i'm a struggler you know but v is my escape if i wanted like a bad b on the game i'm going to do that you talking about don't get me wrong i look like a bad b in real life it's a i'm not rich you have over 100k credits in your account right now <laughs> If you guys can see the number in my account right now, I might as well have started the game over. I don't even think I have actual credits in my account. I think it's just promo credits right now. Oh my gosh, this even reminds me of one time, right? This guy, I was like, I think we were at the strip club and I was like, oh, I tip the room. He was like, I can't tip the room. I only have like so and so much promo credits. I think he was like 10,000 promo credits or something like that. And I was just like, why are you lying? If you're broke, just say that. There's no way you can have 10,000 promo credits and no credits. I actually tip the room. Going crazy on him, right? That 
that happened to me literally the other day i said oh my god he wasn't lying if i could remember his name i want to give him an apology i'm sorry man you want vu kids oh my gosh the amount of time i get asked this on my tiktok hey you looking for a kid i have a kid Abby. do you need a son do you need a daughter no guys i don't want no vu kids i used to i can't lie i used to but i think at this point i'm just gonna get myself my own baby bump and call it a day just to experience it but i don't want to i don't want to be a vu mom you have an irl youtube channel yes i do but at the same time i don't post on there like i just don't have the energy to post on there and my real life ain't even something to be vlogging hey guys come with me to the f library there's nothing there nothing there so it's like i just express it through my vu account you rather live in america i feel like in my past life i was actually an american girly the more i hang around with my friends i start sounding like i'm from america you know it's actually scary but to live there no i'm scared you guys might pew pew you know and i'll just be gone gone so i think i think the uk is fine your bta looks just like your avi i've gotten this a lot you know a couple of people are saying oh you know you look like your real life like your avi looks just like how you look like in real life i personally don't see it my own sister in real life was like yeah why does she look like you she was the first person to actually say that and i'm like huh i don't see it it's still to this day i don't see it but damn you like clearing people's wish lists um i don't know who told you that but no i don't one thing about me when it comes to my credits i'm actually quite stingy the only time i'm gifting like that is if i'm feeling real generous or to my friends when i'm bored i love a good gift yes gift me i love a good gift but eh, even though my generosity is up there like i do gift like sometimes it's you know when people be coming in the room and be like oh hey can i get a gift it's my birthday i know it's not your birthday we know it's not your birthday but i would still be like okay you know what? let me just gift you to be like oh it's, hey can you claim my wish some girl i will never forget you i will never forget you some girl on my tiktok was like hey can you clear my wish list it's only got about 300 things in there <laughs> who am i <laughs> no someone said I assume you're going to be just as big, if not bigger, in real life and known based on your talents. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I don't know. Like I mentioned before, I do have a real life YouTube channel, but the way my life is set up right now, there's nothing to, like, it's not giving, <laughs> you know? It's not giving. It's just literally, I'm just a basic, normal girl, cool, having fun when I go out to these barbecues, drinking, me and my friends, one, two friends, and that's it. There's nothing really vlog worthy. There's nothing really storytelling. Like, it's just me, but on VU, I can share you some jokey things because I feel like I experience more things on VU that's funny and I can give back to you guys, you know, teach you guys how to dress and stuff like that. I can't teach nobody nothing how to dress in real life because all I wear is black. But thank you so much. One day, if I do, I'll let you guys know. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can, but I'll probably be making a whole new one. So thank you. I really love that. It's really cute. Someone said you a cheater, ain't you? Um, excuse you? No, I've actually never cheated. I just feel like if I'm going to cheat, I might as well just leave you do you get it but the thing is with me if i tell you i'm done with you and you tell me no we're not done and then i go out i start talking to somebody else that's a you problem i already told you i was done oh yeah guys that's the end of all the assumptions that i received if you like this video remember to give it a like remember 200 likes well 150 likes to 200 likes and i'll come up with a part two remember to follow me on my instagram at official underscore princess dot vl to leave your assumptions when i do do that video and yeah i'll I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.